Hi, my name's Sierra Misted. What's yours? So today I am going to be giving you some of my first impressions. I went to the drugstore the other day because I ran out of my Cody Airspun powder and if you know drag, you know that Cody Airspun is like the drag powder. So I go to CVS and they don't have the Cody Airspun powder. So I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm Googling what drugstore powders are the best for drag. Um, so I finally find some powders that people are saying are good. And then by the time that I had gotten those powders, I was like, I've been here for so long, might as well look at other makeup, you know, obviously I've just worked so hard to find these powders that I deserve to get some more stuff. So that's what I did and I'm gonna be reviewing those products for you today and doing my face. Now, before I start, I would like to say thank you so much for 20 subscribers. I mean, you know, I knew from a young age that I was destined for fame. And now that I see the spotlight on me, Twitter is blowing up. I'm trending every day. Um, it's just, I'm honored and I would be nothing without my fans. Thank you so much. I love you. Okay, so the products that I got for the powder, I got the Physicians Beauty Mineral Wear Setting Powder. I got two shades. I got the shade Translucent Light for my highlight, and I got the shade Creamy Natural for the rest of my face. And then I got three of the Maybelline Tattoo Cream Liners. I got the shade Golden Girl, which is like this beautiful gold color. I got Knockout, which is this like vampy purple, very gorgeous. I'm so excited. And I got Trailblazer which is this like gorgeous deep blue. So the last products that I picked up from the drugstore were more of the Maybelline Superstay liquid lipsticks. Um, I have spoken about these before in another video. I forget which one, but I have this like, where is it? I have this brown lipstick from them and I absolutely love it. So I got these colors. I got this pink one is called Romantic and this like gorgeous deep purple is called Escapist. So I'm very excited to try those. Okay, so I am going to cover my brows and do my foundation off camera for the sake of time because I'm trying to be succinct so just so you know, I'm gonna be looking a little bit messed up when I get back, okay? <laughs> be prepared. I'm back! <laughs> I glued down my brows, I did my like cream base routine. So we're just gonna go right into it. So. I needed to use the powder for my brows because it's kind of time sensitive when you're going down your brows to like get powder on there. And I'm a little concerned because this is the lightest color of, all, I got the lightest color in the powder range because I'm pretty pale and I was looking for a highlight. So I was like, I'll get the lightest one. And this is like my skin tone. And I have an issue with that because I should not be the lightest color. And it comes in this, with this sponge and it's like a really harsh, it's like really dense. Like, do you hear that against my skin? 
it's really like aggressive. Like I don't want to, I need to like be really soft under my eye. And when you're going soft like this, you need to slow down and whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened here? Do y'all see that? I really hope that goes away. What is going on there? The like powder is like patching up in a, like what is that? It's like not as noticeable anymore, but like y'all see that? What's going on? Maybe it will go away after I do the rest of my face. I don't know. I've never seen powder. I do. You can. I don't know if you can see it that well on camera, but like, there's just a place when I went to beat my face. There's like a place where all of the powder like collected together. I don't know if it's from the powder or from this like weird dense beauty brush or beauty beauty uh, sponge but i i have my doubts i'm a little skeptical um and i mean pores always look larger and dry because you're just wearing so much makeup but my pores look pretty bad right now not gonna lie um, the Cody usually doesn't make my pores look too big. Um, whereas here, when I get up close, I can really, really see my pores. And I don't have big pores. But this powder is definitely getting in them. So I just did the translucent light, which is neither translucent nor light. Um, and now I'm going into the next dark um, shade in the range. This is Creamy Natural. I really don't like this sponge. It like, or it, I don't know, what do you call these? They're like kind of spit powder puff. It's like weird because it's meant to be a powder puff, but this like, it has like the texture of like a cheap like, beauty blender knockoff like I feel like I should be wetting this and then trying to apply it and then throwing it out because it's a cheap beauty blender knockoff on like this weird applicator thing and it just slows down my makeup application so the powder doesn't look too bad but the shade range is just a really questionable and from what i remember in store i think there were only like four shades and this was uh the translucent light was the lightest one and then i remember it didn't go that dark you know what i'm gonna check i'm gonna check okay so i'm on the walmart page for the powder right now and so there are five shades and listen to these names. So I'm pretty sure the darkest shade is called Golden Caramel. Which doesn't sound like it's very dark. Um, there's Medium Beige. And there's Sand Beige. And those are the three shades that are darker than what I have here. And none of them are very dark. So in terms of the shade range, that's kind of upsetting. I don't know about that one. Um, We'll see how the product performs on my skin. I'm going to bake and then we'll see also how it performs. Like if we get more of this gathering or if it bakes seamlessly. But I can already tell you that the shade range is not good. And I feel like these powders wouldn't work for a lot of people. And I know it's a drugstore found, like drugstore powder, but that's not an excuse. If you're a cosmetics company, you need to provide cosmetics for like everyone. 
this powder puff, like, doesn't do a great job of, like, picking up and evenly distributing product. Um, like you can see when I dip into the product, because it's so dense, it all gathers in, like, specific places, which isn't great. I really want, like, a powder puff that's gonna seamlessly cover where I'm baking it, and this isn't really doing that. It's not giving me that fantasy, yeah. So now I'm going to bake my under eyes with the lighter powder. That was, this was with, um, the darker one. And I'm going to bring it out into like a kind of wing because I know that I want to do a, a very like blown out, exaggerated eye look today. The powder puff does pick up a lot of powder which is good for baking as long as the powder is evenly distributed on the puff, which this doesn't do naturally. Like you can see how weird that looks. And I don't love that. Um, so this applicator is definitely like a huge no from me. Okay, so I'm going to go do my brows off camera real fast, and I'll be back for eyes. Okay, I am back. The brows are on. And as you can see, probably from the brows, I'm going for like a bitchy look today. So I think that for the eyes, I'm thinking something smoky with bright highlights. Something just sexy and big and vamped out. So... I'm gonna go straight in to Golden Girl and I am just going to carve out the like first third of um, my eye right now and I'm gonna go high up. Like I'm going like up there, you know? So once I've kind of carved out just the shape and the inner part of my eye, I'm going to go into with a bigger flat brush. This is very pretty. Um, it's buildable. Which is really nice. I'm getting pretty nice color payoff. But what I'm really hoping for with this shadow specifically is that it's gonna bring out the powder shimmers that i'm gonna put over it more than just the pigmentation on its own like for the other shadows i'm like yeah i want them to be pigmented but for this one because creams are wet when you put powder on top of it like a powder shimmer it makes it pop a whole lot. So I'm hoping that's what happens with this. Okay, so now that I am done with the yellow in my eye, I am going to go into Knockout and just continue filling in my lid and this space and just bringing it outwards towards the outer corner of my eye. This is a super pretty color. It's a very buildable. It's not too patchy considering how many layers I'm putting up. And it feels really smooth and easy to work with, which is really nice. Before I go into the next color, I am just gonna go back into Golden Girl with my finger and blend out right here so that there's a nice, really smooth look and it's not such a harsh line between the purple and the uh, gold. Okay, so now that I've blent in the two shadows and they are looking stunning, I am going to go into Trailblazer and continue and just smoke it all the way out 
to where my wing's gonna go. Okay, so I have got my creams on my face and I am loving the shape that I am building here. So I'm going to start going in with powder shadows. And first I'm going to cover up all of Golden Girl with uh, so many pretty colors to choose from. I think I'm going to go in with this one um, right here and just pack it in the opening part of my lid. Y'all, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. With the cream underneath the shimmer, it the shimmer just looks so gorgeous. It looks like beyond foiled. Y'all, this shimmer looks so sickening. I am living. Oh my goodness, it's so shiny! I love it! Okay, so I am going to fill in my inner corner with my Fenty Beauty highlighter. Um, this one's called Sandcastle. I think it was part of their summer collection, because I think that's when I got it. Okay, so next I'm going to go into this deep purple shade right here, and I'm going to just pack it over um, the center shade that I had. Wow. Okay, so the purple has been applied, and now I'm going to mix this blue and this black and just drag it along the wing. Y'all, I'm living. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so now I am just going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take this light purple and just blend out the top of this whole look. Okay, so next I'm going to take this bright white and I'm just going to bring it right under the brow bone and just stamp it on there. as a nice little highlight. Ooh! Girl, this looks amazing. I could not be more happy. I am gonna go throw on some eyeliner and I'm gonna go do my like contour and blush so we can just go straight into the lips. And I'm also going to use um, Golden Girl one more time. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I am back. I did all of the powders, as you can see, and I did my liner. So I'm just gonna go in and do the under eye um, highlight and then lips. So for the under eye, I'm basically gonna do the same thing with my creams as I did on this part of my eye as this part of my eye. So I'm gonna take Golden Girl and I'm gonna go right underneath. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into Knockout and go right into the center of my under eye. And finally, I'm gonna go into Trailblazer and just connect up to my wing. All right, so to finish off the under eye, I'm gonna go and mix this blue and this black again and just smoke out, starting from the outer corner and working inwards. Okay, so now that my under eye is looking nice and smoky, I'm gonna work on my highlight and I want to glow the house down so I am going to lay Golden Girl as a base for my powder highlight. And I'm just going to dab it right on here. And I'm going to build it up to be really strong. Okay, so now that my cheeks are glowing with this cream, I'm going to go in with the same Fenty Beauty highlighter. But of course... First, no look and no highlight is complete without some setting spray.
So while my face is nice and wet, I am going to just go in there and I'm going to shine like a disco ball. Ugh! That's so pretty! Okay, so because I am only using one front-facing light, the gold looks kind of funky from straight forward. So I'm gonna try and lighten it up and give it more of a neutral tone with this, um, this is an old highlighter. This is Champagne Pop. This palette is very obviously broken, by the way. I know it fell off of my bed once, like, a year ago, and then it's never been the same since. So it stays at home. I do not travel with it ever, sadly. But I'm gonna take Champagne Pop and try to just work it over top the gold. Honestly, this wouldn't even be an issue if I was just like out performing or just out and about because you have light coming from all directions. But highlight, because I only have one ring light, is kind of difficult because there's, like, once the light stops hitting the highlighter, it can get a little weird looking. Um, so... I'm gonna put some glitter just over the top of this highlighter where you're seeing this color difference. And I'm gonna hope that it kinda blends out the, like, weird thing that's going on. See, so, like, that looks a lot better than this, just because the glitter is kind of working to hide where the highlight starts, because now this kind of just looks like it's, like, matte gold run across my face, whereas this looks, th this side looks a little bit more normal and acceptable. So now that my glitter and highlight is on and I am glowing, I am going to do my lips. So I'm going to line my lips real fast. Okay, so now that my lip liner is on, I am going to use these lipsticks. I'm going to do a nice little ombre moment. So first I'm going to line kind of like the outer part of my lip with, um, what is this called again? It's called Escapist. Okay, so now that Escapist is all dried down, I'm gonna go into the center with Romantic and blend the two out. Y'all, I am obsessed with how these lips look right now. I promise they're actually naturally this big. Not overlined at all sweaty. Okay, so I am going to go do my hair real fast put on something moderately cute, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back. The lashes are on, the outfit is on. I am giving you like, girl, you run into at the supermarket, in the soup aisle. She is looking for her chicorina soup. She has her headphones on. She's listening to TLC on loop. And you know she's a little stoned. That is very much the vibe I am going for. And she has a resting bitch face, but I promise she's really nice. So let me go down the line and give you my final thoughts on all of these products I tried today. So first there's the Physician's Formula Powders. Um, they're as a powder, just as a product, they're okay. My pores don't look too big. I don't like it as much as the Cody Airspun. I can tell you that now. Um, however, it does the job. It feels like my makeup is set and that it's like there to stay. I feel pretty confident that I could go a performance and sweat a bit and that this wouldn't start to break down. It just feels like a very familiar feeling of having like a powdered face. It's it's a very much like a familiar feeling for me of like, okay, my makeup's safe on my face. It feels good. I wish I could go test that theory, but um, it's quarantine. However, um, this gets serious lack of points or less points 
because of how awful the shade range is. This is a new product as well. This is the only new product that I reviewed today, I'm pretty sure. And in 2020, you're going to come in with a powder with five shades. Five shades that cover like three three shades of person like they're not even far apart in color for it to like constant like it literally is like I feel like these five shades would like I don't know it's just not it for me the shade range is horrendous I'm gonna keep using them but I'm not repurchasing them I will gladly go back to my airspun powder the second that I run out of these so for the cream eyeshadows, I love these. They are so nice, so pretty. They're just a really nice base for my shadow. I feel like I have such a nice little ombre going on here and I'm giving you such a nice like sexy smoky moment. I absolutely love it. They feel amazing. They're easy to work with. They're blendable. Just like top, top, top. I'm gonna be using these a lot. I can tell that they are just going to be a staple in my look and I'll probably go get more shades or more colors too because I remember there being a lot of pretty colors. And for the Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks, I mean, I already loved the Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick in Fighter, so I'm not surprised that these hit the mark so well. I'm really happy with how well they blended. My lips just look amazing. They feel soft. They don't feel like a dry and nasty. Like it's not accentuating any of my lines. And I also, it just feels comfortable and it feels like it's not going to move anywhere. It's not going to affect my lip syncing. So it is a definite two. So for both of the Maybelline products I tried today, I would give them like 10 out of 10. Meanwhile, the Physician's Formula, I'd give it like a 6 for performance and like a 1 for shade range. And like, that's not very good. I definitely wouldn't recommend these to people. Um, I certainly... Ugh, and, like, if I really get up close, I can see places where powder has collected. It's, like, really up close, but I like to be able to look at my face up close and think that I'm beautiful. Even though I don't really need to because it's drag and I'm gonna be on stage. Like, you can't really tell that there is anything wrong with my powder from here. But if I get up to the mirror, I can see all of the pores. Um, even though they don't look too big, they look bigger than what they look like with the Cody Airspun. I can see all of the wrinkles around my mouth, just completely exaggerated, um, and my forehead. And I can also see this like weird texture of powder that's like kind of like clumped up right here. Um, so, that's a little spooky. However, I gotta say, it looks fine from where I need it to look fine from. So, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Not recommending it to anyone, but it is what it is. Okay, so that is it for today's first impressions video. If you liked it, if you liked me, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. You should also follow my Instagram and my Twitter. My Insta is at Sierra Misted and my Twitter is at Sierra underscore Misted. Um, and yeah, I'll link these products down below in the description if you're interested in buying any of them. They should be at any drugstore that you go to as well. Um, but if you want to like look at the ingredients or I don't know, live your life, I'll put it in the description. And I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. I've decided that Monday is like my upload day, I think is what I'm going to try. So assuming that I stick to that, I will see you next Monday. Thank you so much. Bye.